All right, for this Flutter Interesting Tech Tip, we're back here with our 2003 WX project card, and we're going to talk about brakes. Um, before we talk about that, it's, it's worth mentioning at, at the beginning here that if you're going to talk about brakes, you really need to consider tires. Uh, wheels, tires, and brakes are very interconnected. Um, there's the obvious reason of, you know, if you're going to put on a larger brake, um, caliper, rotor, you know, wheel clearance uh, can become an issue. But beyond that, uh, something that, that is definitely worth keeping in mind is if you're going to put on a big brake kit, um, the, the, how effective that brake kit can be is going to be limited by the amount of traction that your tires have. So if you put on the biggest, baddest brake kit that you can find, but you're running skinny, all-season tires that have 600 tread wear, that big brake kit is just basically going to get, in, get you into ABS very, very quickly, and it's not really going to be able to stop the car that much more effectively. But conversely, once you put on stickier and stickier tires, you know, a very, you know, an aggressive summer tire, or especially an R compound tire, what you can find is, is that the, it, it swings the other way. You know, if you have a lot of traction in the tires, you might not be able to even engage ABS until you make some changes to your brake system. Um, and, you know, especially if you're going with a really aggressive R compound slick or something like that, you might actually have to, you know, do an upgrade to the brakes just to get to the point where your brakes can take full advantage of the traction that your tires provide. And with this car, when we were tracking it, or when I was tracking it before, uh, with the two liter engine, it's making about 240, 250 wheel horsepower. Um, and playing around, found a nice balance with the Super 4 pots up front with DTC 30 pads. And in the back, we did the, I did the uh, H6 upgrade and we were running the Hawk HT 10 pad. So with all that together, it had a nice balance. It, you know, the, the brakes performed very well. was able to you know, utilize all the traction that the, the, the 225 with our compound provided. Um, and then once, the, this last time out to the track, finally got the 2.5 liter engine in the car and knew that with more power is going to come more speed, and that's where the brake ducts come from. So if you watch the brake duct video, that was the inspiration for, for finding all of that and putting it on the car. You know, we knew that, I knew that I was going to be going faster and putting more heat into the brakes. So the hope was if I put some ducting onto the brakes, maybe they would, they would work well with you know, the increased speed that the extra power was going to bring. And the net result is uh, that the brakes worked flawlessly uh, at the track, never really had any issues with fate, but when I was driving home, started to get a sense that uh, something was wrong because uh, once everything fully cooled down, um, the, the front brakes were making a horrendous racket and they didn't really want to grab anymore. Um, took excessive pedal pressure just to get the car to stop, you know, at a stoplight normally. And upon taking everything apart, once, once we got home, um, saw you know, a lot of damage. Basically, uh, the rotors, front rotors ended up warping. Um, the dust boots uh, are almost non-existent on the outside pistons of the four pots here. And these are the front pads. They obviously got so hot that basically burned off the, the paint um, and, and basically glazed the pads. So they, they exceeded their, their design operating temperature to the point where um, they just were not biting into the rotor anymore. So. Having that experience and realizing, well, I don't want to don't run into that every time I go out to the track now, that was the inspiration to go with, go with an upgraded brake kit. So the, the kit that uh, I decided to go with is the AP, this AP Racing Endurance Kit put together by SX Motorsports. Um, reason being is that it is designed for you know, long, long track use, and it's, it's an endurance kit. So it's got a lot of interesting features to, to the components. Um, first, with the rotors, um, the rotors are a J-hook AP Racing endurance rotor that has 72 vanes for uh, extra cooling. It's also thick. It's a 32 millimeter thick rotor. Um, one, one of the really interesting things with this kit is that uh, compared to the four pots, and I was running the early WRX rotors, so basically the lightest configuration with this, did not add any weight even though we're adding a one inch larger rotor, uh, braking rotor. So all that weight has been moved from the caliper into the rotor, so we should have you know, more mass, so, so more heat capacity in the rotor. Um, the calipers, being a motorsports caliper, there's no external dust seal now to, to burn, which is handy. Um, and also, uh, Essex Motorsports can fully service these calipers here in the U.S. So if you if do see signs that the caliper needs to be rebuilt, that can be handled here domestically, which is nice. Um, and also the pads are extra thick. You can tell by looking at them, um, but you know, even compared to uh, you know, like a Brembo or a Stoptic pad, they are significantly thicker. Um, 
So we have more pad material, a, a thick rotor, extra venting. Um, and, and again, you know, putting everything on the scale here, uh, you didn't add any weight to compared to what we had before or what I had before, but it is actually pretty significantly lighter than you know, like a, a Brembel set, for instance. So the, the icing on the cake, if, if you will, is also the cost of the pads. So not only are they much thicker than you know, most of the other similar caliper pads out there, but they're also less expensive. So uh, the hope is, or, the, or kind of, it, the justification for spending the extra money on this kit is, is it's designed for you know, endurance motorsports use, but also the pads are so much less expensive that by the time I get you know, four or five sets of pads in, not only should the pads last longer, but it's gonna save, you know, save a lot of money compared to uh, like a DTC-30 or a DTC-60 pad in a Statec or, or Brembo caliper. So all of that is, is put together is what made this a really appealing package and uh, why I decided I had to give it a try. So your question I'm sure is the same one that I have and nobody's more curious than me to see how this kit actually does once we get out there on the track. So we have a couple more things to button up on this car and then in a, in a few weeks time here we're, we're all set to go out to the track and so we're going to you know, put it through its paces and see how it does. So. Stay tuned, and uh, you know the next installment about these brakes is going to be you know feedback after taking it to the track. So, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please drop a like and stay tuned for more flat iron studying tech tips.